in this video, I will be explaining this positive clamp circuit. Now, why do I call it a positive clamp circuit? The input voltage will be a 10 volt peak to peak signal, 5 volts at the top, and a negative 5 volts at the bottom. And this will be the output voltage. The output voltage will be shipped up by several volts. I want you to notice where the zero volts is on the input. And notice where zero volts is on the output. So it's a 10 volt peak to peak signal, signal on the input in series with a 2.2 microfarad capacitor in series with the parallel combination of a diode, a three volt DC source and a hundred K ohm resistor. Now what's happening here is this, the negative portion of the input is flowing through the diode. And the capacitor is being charged up through the diode. Now the charge on the capacitor is this. The voltage on the capacitor equals now, it's the negative half cycle that is initially charging up the capacitor. It's a negative five volt peak. Negative five volt peak. minus three volts DC plus a 0 0.6 volt drop across the diode. And that equals a voltage of negative 7.4 volts. So VC equals negative 7.4 volts Now what's happening here is that the polarity will now shift This will become positive and this side will become negative. That back and forth between the polarities will continue to happen until we reach what's called a steady state. Now, when the steady state is reached, this polarity is no longer negative. This polarity is now positive. 
which means that this is now a positive 7.4 volts. That 7.4 volts is also the average voltage right here. Now the next step for me is to find the v, v peak one. That is this peak voltage right here. So I go VP1 equals seven point four volts plus five volts peak. That equals a V peak one of 12.4 volts. And now the next voltage I'll find is VP2. And VP2 equals 7.4 volts minus 5 volts minus the five volts of the bottom peak. And that gives you a voltage of 2.4 volts right here for VP2. Now the next thing that I'll find is the value of the five time constant. Five T equals 2.2 microfarads times the 100 K ohm resistor times 5. And that will give you a 5T of one point one second. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare this 1.1 seconds 
I'm going to compare that to the, the 16.66 milliseconds, which is a period for a 60 hertz signal. So we have here a frequency of 60 hertz, which makes the period The period is 16.66 milliseconds. Now I will take half of that, which is 8.33 milliseconds. And now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to compare this to that. So I'm going to go 1.1 seconds. Over. 8.33 milliseconds. And that will give you 132. Now, what that means is that there is enough of a difference between the charge of time of the of the capacitor because of the 100k and the half cycle which is 8.33 milliseconds of the input. Now the reason why that's important is because if this resistor is too small you may get some output distortion on the output. And this brings me to the end of the video. Like and share, like and share, and thanks for your attention.